Hi there everyone, this is Adam Meister of VoteMD.info. I'm going to talk about Dan Roderick's uh, article. How could Sheila Dixon not know of DeRay Mickison? I can't even pronounce his name right, okay? Um, you know, Dan Roderick, he's obviously a writer for The Sun and he's trying to make everybody, you know, Sheila Dixon feel bad that she didn't know who this guy was. Because Sheila Dixon honestly said, she didn't know. They said, how do you feel about this guy DeRay running for uh, mayor? And she was like, I don't know who he is. And you know what? A lot of people don't know who he is. Dan Roberts, though, is writing an article trying to make people feel bad that they don't know who he is. But guess what? By you writing this article and then everyone reads the article and they're like, I don't even know who this guy is that Dan Roberts is talking about. They feel for Sheila Dixon. They understand what Sheila Dixon is saying. They say they think Sheila Dixon is telling the truth. And you know what? Sheila Dixon has had some truth issues. But Dan, you're making <laughs> you're helping her out here. I mean, I, you know, I I know a lot about politics and stuff. Um, I don't sit in front of the computer all day and I don't watch TV. So I don't. I this this Duray guy. I thought he was from St. Louis. I, that's all. I didn't even know this guy was from Baltimore. I, that, all I know is he shows up at these like uh, uh, civil unrest and riots and stuff. I thought he was from St. Louis. Um, and you know what? I'm no Dixon fan. But you know, she is not going to lose any voters because of him. I mean, 62-year-old African-American ladies, I have encountered, I had campaigned before. I had been out on the campaign trail in Baltimore City in the so-called Freddie Gray riot neighborhoods, okay? By myself, walking there, okay? I've encountered many ladies that are the same age as Sheila Dixon, very similar to Sheila Dixon. They don't care about this, do they? They wouldn't have a clue who this guy is. So, I mean, and they're the people who decide these elections. They're the people who Sheila Dixon appeals to. So I don't, the super voters, go look up some of my super voter videos that I've made. If you're so skilled at uh, uh, social media or whatever, Dan Roberts, and you can educate yourself. I, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do here. Is this clickbait, this article of yours? Is this some weird white liberal guilt thing of yours? Like, you got to talk about this guy to make yourself feel hip and cool and because the people who know about him are on social media, okay? Do you know how, how much trouble Twitter is? They don't make any money. They have no business model. You know what You know what Twitter is? You're talking about Twitter followers? People just post a bunch of crap on Twitter. They don't, want read, they don't read what anybody else writes. And then they follow other people and they brag about how many followers. No one's listening. It's a bunch of screaming. That's all it is. Social media is not real life. And you should know that of all people. You're... You've been around for a while. Sheila Dixon surely knows that. And you say Sheila Dixon has Twitter. You think she really, she has time to operate her own Twitter? She's a 62-year-old woman. Whatever. She has Twitter because you, I guess you got to have Twitter in this day and age to, to just say you've got an account. But whatever. If we're talking about real life and you want to talk about this guy, DeRay, why don't you talk about how he all of a sudden suddenly lives in North Baltimore? That's like near Boys Latin and the Whole Foods where Adam Meister and his old private school friends from Friends used to go to somebody's grandmother's uh, swimming pool. I mean, it, 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 he lives in an elitist neighborhood. Totally elitist. And I, whatever, I'm making fun of... I, I, can, I can joke about it or whatever. I don't care. I'm a white guy who went to a private school. But this guy's whole thing is, is he's this rebel black guy who goes down the North Avenue and he talked about how he grew up around the... Uh, Whatever, some hardcore street. Yet he somehow went to Catonsville High School, he also talked about. Whatever, he lives in North Baltimore near Boys Latin and the Whole Foods. That's real life, Dan. Who does that appeal to, Dan? And all of a sudden, young people are about to vote for some magical reason? Sheila Dixon's, her, her people are strong. They vote. It's their super voters, 62-year-old women. Get it through your head. This guy makes no difference. If people are talking about him because it's something to talk about. They have no clue. Go out and campaign on the streets of Baltimore and talk to 60-year-old black ladies and see what they have to say. I'm Adam Meister. I'll talk to you later.